So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a wipe reveal and track it in to reveal something. So for instance, in this drone shot, we have a reveal that we need to do to reveal some work that is being done. And we have gone ahead and gone into Photoshop and we exported a still frame from the beginning and we filled that in with trees so that we can do our wipe. I want to go ahead and do my wipe first. So I'm gonna go over to my transitions and we can just go ahead and search wipe. I'm just gonna use the built-in wipe for this. I want to delete the first one and then you can see it's just kind of kind of wipe over like this. I personally like the kind of fade on there. However, I want to kind of wipe from that direction. So we're gonna kind of wipe over like this. Now we're going ahead and doing that because we need this to play as a video inside of our M Tracker surface. And in order to do that within a drop zone, this top clip needs to be a compound clip. So we're going to highlight the transition and the still frame. Option G to create a compound clip. And then I'm going to tap V and just go ahead and disable that so that we can do our tracking. I know that the clip is going to have been revealed at this point because that's the end of our clip there. So I'm going to blade cut and that way I'm only tracking on this section and then we've just kind of picked up inside of that turn. Now we need to apply M tracker surface. You can see we have our on-screen controls here and I'm just going to go ahead and click to select the area that we are tracking and the area that is kind of being revealed there. Just like this, I'm gonna move this out so that we know that we're getting all of that there. Let's open tracker and we will track forward. All right, the next thing we need to do is apply that clip to our drop zone. So we're gonna click on our drop zone and then we'll just go to the very beginning of our clip, apply clip. Then we are going to change our image insert mode to full screen. And then you can see that we have that there. And I'm gonna go ahead and feather out these tracked areas because I am aware that there is going to be a little bit of parallax in those trees. So just feathering that out is gonna make things go a little bit smoother for us. Now I have also noticed that we have our road kind of disappearing here. So if we want to kind of set that clip up where we're only doing the reveal on that section and then naturally in our video that road does disappear. And let's see how that looks. And it just wipes away. Now I may want to adjust the duration of that wipe. It might be a little bit too fast. So I'm going to double click into my compound clip and I'm just going to drag that wipe back so that it moves slower. And the good news is that, that is going to update in real time within our drop zone. So now you can see that that is starting a little bit sooner and it is moving a lot slower. That looks really good. That is the goal that I was trying to achieve. I had an issue in which I wanted to really show the scale of work that has been done in this video. M Tracker Surface was able to solve that issue really simply, really effectively. M Tracker Surface is now available via Cine Studio with Motion VFX. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.